Hello friends, I am going to start in list number 6 of the CMA final SFM lease and higher purchase. Okay, please read the questions here. Lease and higher purchase, list number 6. Basic information, assets related cost, rupees 120 lakhs. Tax rate depreciation, depreciation is of 40%, useful life 4 years. The residual value after three years is this. This is the residual value after three years. Leasing full payout, three years lease. Lease rent quoted to be four thirty four per thousand. Payment annually in area. Borrow and buy three years loans. Interest rate fifteen percent. And quantum to be determined. Quantum to be determined. Please like to understand this. Please try to understand this. Such that. Annual repayment of principal will be equal to the lease rental payment. Lease rental payment. Okay. Other information: so tax rate forty percent, opportunity cost eleven percent. Based on the above information, determine the preferred options of a preferred lease or buying option. Okay. Look at. I'm going to make you understand. First, I'm going to calculate the lease rents. Okay. Annual lease rents. So what is the information about the annual lease rent? Annual lease rent is going to pay rupees 434 per thousand payments, thousand cost. Okay, and the cost of total machine is 120 lakhs. So here I am going to calculate here evaluation of present value of expenditure. Due to lease rent, lease rent. Working note first: calculation of lease rent. Calculation of lease rent. What is saying? Rupees four thirty four per thousand investment, and your total investment one hundred twenty lakh. 120 lakh and this will be rupees 52.08 lease rent net of tax you have to calculate lease rent and net of tax tax saving on lease rent on lease rent in tax saving on lease rent that is 40 percent of rupees 52.08 40 percent of rupees 52.08 the rupees 20.08 Three two lakhs. These all informations are in lakhs. Lease rent net of tax. Lease rent net of taxes. This minus this. After subtracting this, you will have thirty one point two one two four eight lakh. Present value of lease rent payment. Present value of lease rent payment. Look at it. You are going to pay thirty one point two four eight into into present value annuity factor 11 percent lease rent is taken for three years lease rent is taken for three years and this will be rupees 31.248 into present value factor for three years is two point double four three seven two point double four three seven Double four three seven one four seven one four seven. This is rupees 
36119 lakhs this is your lease payments present value expenditure due to lease rent okay now we have to evaluate present value of expenditure due to bank borrowing now present value of expenditure due to bank borrowing in borrow look at it in third information borrow and buy three years loan three years loan okay and lease is also three years three years loan interest rate 15 percent quantum to be determined loan quantum would be defined such that annual repayment of principal annual repayment of principal will be equal to annual lease rent repayment only lease rent payment okay it means evaluation of present value of expenditure due to bank borrowing bank borrowing in this question it is given what is given annual installment equal to annual lease rent lease rent payment that is rupees what is the annual lease rent payment 52.08 lakh 52.08 lakh okay this is 52.08 lakh and this installment is paid at the rate of 15 percent the total loan taken loan taken this is paid for the three years at the rate of annuity factor 15 percent because of interest rate is 15 percent that is rupees 52.08 into 15 percent so what is the interest rate for 15 percent that is 15 percent 2.8 283225 2.283225 that is rupees 118.91 lakh 118.91 lakh the present value of installment first working note working note this was the also working note this was the also working note okay now what we know calculation of percent value of annual installment payment calculation of percent value of annual installment of loan annual installment loan 52.08 into present value annuity factor rate of interest you have 15 percent three years discount rate is 11 percent given in the questions rupees 52.08 into this is 2.4437 2.4437 4437 2.4437 this is your installment payment 127 127.268 lakh you have paid installment now the asset is your you are able to charge depreciation as well as interest 
the tax saving amount you need to calculate the calculation of interest work you note calculation of interest interest okay you write here year One, two, three. Loan. One, one, eight point nine one lakh. Lakhs. Interest. At the rate of fifteen percent. Fifteen percent of one, one, eight point nine one. Seventeen point eight three five eight three five balance loan one one eight point nine one minus installment you are going to pay balance loan. The in the case of you are going to pay installment fifty two point this. So this is that is look at it. This is seventeen point this <clears throat> interest fifteen percent. This is seventeen point eight three five. Seventeen point eight three five in lakhs. Okay, principal payment. Whole your installment is fifty two point zero seven zero eight minus seventeen point eight three five eight three five. Now principal payment is thirty four point thirty four point two four five two four five. Now balance loan balance loan to one one eight point nine one minus thirty four point two four five two four five. Now the balance loan eighty four point eighty four point six double five. This is eighty four point six double five. Interest on this is fifteen percent twelve point six nine eight six nine eight. The fifty two point zero eight minus twelve point. Six nine eight because of we are going to pay installment this out of this installment this is the interest now this is the principal payment and this is installment this is the loan then thirty nine point three eight two thirty nine point three eight two now eighty four point six five five minus thirty nine point three eight two and this will be this will be 45 the balance loan is 45 point 39 this is 45 point 263 45 point 263 this is 45 point 26 
3 and interest on this is 6.817 6.817 now in this case 52.08 minus 6.817 this would be 45.263 this is the principal is paid okay in this case now now minus 45.263 minus 45.263 this is g okay now look at it. this we have paid the interest okay now i am going to calculate the depreciation calculation of depreciation here at year one two three written down value 120 depreciation is 40 percent because of depreciation is given 40 percent tax depreciation for the tax purpose depreciation charges 40 percent and a scrap value residual value is 25.92 Forty percent of one twenty forty eight again return on value will be one twenty minus forty eight that equal to seventy two seventy two forty percent of seventy two that is twenty eight point eight. 72 minus 28.8 this is 43.2 43.2 percent of 43.2 this is 17.28 17.28 minus 17.28 that is 25.92 25.92 this is the fourth year 25.92 lakhs these all information are in lakhs now we have to calculate tax saving due to interest and depreciation working note calculation of tax saving due to depreciation and interest depreciation and interest you write here year one two this is three You write a depreciation forty-eight twenty-eight point eight seventeen point two eight interest seventeen point eight three five twelve point six nine eight six point eight one seven You write a tax saving amount sixty five point eight three five eight three five forty one point four nine eight twenty four point zero nine seven tax saving. Forty percent. Forty percent this twenty six point three three four sixteen point five nine nine two five nine nine two nine point six three double eight six three double eight 
this is a present value factor at the rate of 11 percent 0 0.9009 0 0.811 6 0 0.7312 now present value 23.724 present value of tax saving due to depreciation and interest 23.724 13.4719 that is total 44 point rupees 44.244 lakhs now working note calculation of scrap value net of tax calculation of a scrap value net of taxes book value this is book value equal to sale value rupees 25.92 present value factor 11 percent for three years 0 0.7312 present value of terminal cash inflow present value of terminal cash inflow this is rupees 18.8 952 lakhs. Now we have to evaluate present value of expenditure due to bank borrowing. Present value of expenditure due to bank borrowing. Bank borrowing. Present value of expenditure due to bank borrowing. Bank borrowing. Present value of installment payment. payment rupees 127 point two six eight lakh less present value of tax saving on depreciation and interest forty four point two double four lakh less present value of terminal cash inflow terminal cash inflow minus 18.952952 present value of expenditure due to bank borrowing bank borrowing rupees 64.072 lakh evaluation leads this is the buy present value of expenditure 64.072 lakh that is 76.361 lakh now saving due to bank due to buy 76.361 minus 64.072 that equal to 12. 289 lakh 
2.89 lakh and loan bank borrowing is the best lease actually this is wrong 76.361 64.07 the bank borrowing the lower cost that's why bank borrowing is the accepted okay thank you class please like subscribe and share my videos